Okay, um, I got this uh, question from one of my finance students in my online class. And this question, for those of you that are in my, in my finance class, this question came from this book. It's called M Finance by Cornette. And it's a pretty good finance book. If you want a reference book, I highly recommend it. It has a lot of good examples in it. Not too complicated, but not too simple either. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this question. It says, a small business owner visits his bank to ask for a loan. The owner states that he can repay a loan at $2,700 per month for the next three years and $1,700 per month for two years after that. If the bank is charging a 9% APR, how much would it be willing to lend the business owner? Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a try to do a little cash flow diagram. So I'm going to go here to under the home tab. I'm going to go to the font group and I'm going to go under draw borders. I'm going to do kind of a thick border here so we can kind of see it a little bit better. And so they want to know basically how much the bank is willing to lend. So the bank, so we, we could say here that, you know, the owner is going to get some kind of money. So that's going to be what's called the present value. And then, and then, um, owner is going to be making a series of payments and for the first for the first uh, three years he's going to be making monthly payments I'm going to I'm going to skip I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here but I'm going to skip a couple I'm going to skip one and then let me hit escape so here here's what we want to know we want to know the present value Okay, so what's that going to be worth? What's the bank willing to lend? And we have a rate. The interest rate is nine. Nine percent. Okay, and that's APR, they say, annual percentage rate. Okay, and for the first three years is going to be twenty-seven hundred dollars. Right, and. Let me copy this over. I'm going to go Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. Oop. Control V. Control V. Okay, Con Control C, Control V. Okay, so now I'm going to put three dots here to show that we're skipping a little bit of time. And so this is time zero. And then month one, month two, and then all the way out to month three years would be three times twelve is thirty six. So for thirty six months, um, the owner is willing to pay twenty seven hundred a month. Okay, that's what it says here for the first three years. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the rest. So I'm going to go back here to, to line style here, and then for another additional two years, I'm going to go ahead and skip one again. Okay, uh, and I'm going to hit escape, put some dots here. Okay, so another additional two years is going to be $1,700 per month. Okay. And this starts at month 37, 38, and then two years is 24 months, three years is 36 months, so 24 plus 36, this equals uh, 24 plus 36, so it'd be 60 months. So that goes all the way up to 60 months. So that's basically what, so this has the same APR across this whole thing, but then... Um, we want to know the present value. And there's a couple ways you could do it. You could, you could, first of all, we could, we could, uh, one, one way you could do it, you could collapse this cash flow back to a present value. So calculate what 36 months of $2,700 at 9% APR, what the present value of that is. And then this two years of $1,700, you could find the present value here. And then you'd have to do one more thing. You take this present value and flip it around, make it a future value, and then bring it back that to a present value, and then you add those two present values. So that's a little bit more complicated. Another way you could look at this, you could say, well, 
why don't I just split this $2,700 into uh, $1,700, okay? And then we'll make another cash flow of $1,000. Okay, so that makes a, so that makes it all. Yeah, we have two very simple problems here. We take this sixty-month annuity. It's an ordinary annuity because the uh, payments are at the end of the period. We take this sixty-month annuity and take it back to a present value. And we take this thirty-six thousand-dollar annuity and take that's present value and add the two present values. So that kind of simplifies the problem. So, uh, uh, so, so I'm going to say find the present value, what it is, and uh, and then for a solution, so um, let me go ahead and underline these. So for solution we're going to go N, R, P, V, P, M, T, future value, okay? And see how it under Excel like automatically underline these, and I don't really like that. So I'm going to go catch this format right above, and hit Format Painter, and paint that format. Okay. So so for the first, for the $1,700 cash flow, the N is equal to 60. Okay. So this is 60 months. Okay. Now R. This is an annual interest rate, and as, as you probably know, you can't mix an annual rate with a monthly payment, right? So I'm going to have to say this is equal to 9% divided by 12 to get the monthly interest rate. Now I'm going to go ahead and format that as percent and take it out a couple places. So that's 0.75% per month. The present value is what we want to know, right? The payment is equal to... Well, these arrows are pointing down. If you're making a payment, money's coming out of your pocket. So I'm going to say it's equal to a negative $1,700. Okay? And the future value, of course, we're not going to owe anything when we're done. So we just leave that as zero. Okay? And then what we can do, we can go uh, equals present value. The first thing it asks for is a monthly rate. We're going to put that in. The number of periods is 60 months. The payment is this negative 1700. The future value is zero. We don't have to do type because it's an ordinary annuity and that's just the default for Excel. You know, the payments are at the end of the period. It's not an, an, or, an annuity due where the payments would be at the beginning of the period. It's an ordinary annuity where the payments are at the end. So I can just go ahead and close my parentheses. So the present value of these, these, these 60, $1,700 uh, cash flows at a 9% APR, the present value of those, what those are worth right now is $81,894.73. Let me go ahead and put the formula in here, equals formula text. Okay, so now we'll do the other one. So I'm just going to copy these. Uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and copy everything here. And I'll put it here. So now the end. So now I'm going to do these thousand dollar cash flows. The thousand dollar cash flows are 36 months. The R is still equal to um, nine percent divided by 12, and the payment is now equal to a negative a thousand dollars, and the future value is still zero. Okay. Now the beauty of Excel. This is going to kind of keep it relative, right? So it's going to it's going to still do exactly what I did here since they're all relative, so I don't have to do that formula again. So now the cash flow of these $1,000 ones is this. So finally, the last thing we want to do is we want to calculate, we want to add the two present values together, so it equals this plus this, okay? And, and that's my answer. Well, it's pretty easy to do on Excel. Um, a lot of times when you get confused on these type of problems, it's always good to do a cash flow diagram and kind of diagnose what you want to do. Um, you know, often you got to do two separate problems and, and then add them together. That's the case here. We, 
we 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 take the twenty seven hundred and divide it into a couple cash flows and collapse both of them back to the present value and then add them together. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I thought this was a good problem. I'm glad the student requested me to make a video on this. Uh, see you next time. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, uh, go ahead and click on my picture up here to subscribe if you want to see some more of them. And, uh, and also maybe give me a thumbs up if you want to. That would be nice. So, if you, so anyway, thank you. Bye.